everybody, everybody, I'm back. Everybody, Jeannie Young is back, and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. The holidays are right around the corner, and you all are looking for that perfect dish to put on your family's dinner table. Listen here, you are in for a treat, because today Jeannie Young is gonna show you all how to make an amazing maple curry acorn squash. If you all never had acorn, <laughs> I'm not gonna edit that. If you all never had acorn squash before, you need to watch this recipe. It's so simple to make. It does not require a lot of ingredients. And listen here, if you're making it, if you're making a Gina Young style, you're gonna really wow your family members. Here's what you're gonna need to make Gina Young style maple curry acorn squash. You all never had my acorn squash before? You better make you some, better make you some. Okay, everyone, here are the lovely ingredients you will need to make acorn squash. They're the beautifulest, aren't they beautiful? They're so beautiful. Now make sure you wash these when you bring them home. You always wanna wash off the pesticides and you never know who's handled these before you brought them home. Okay, so I've washed them very well, just with some cold water, okay? You're gonna need maple syrup. I don't suggest, I don't suggest that you use pancake syrup. If you have maple syrup around the house, use that, or you could use the dark k -roll syrup, okay? So I'm using maple syrup. You're gonna need a little tiny bit of olive oil. We're gonna need sea salt and cracked black pepper. You will need cinnamon and also curry powder. This curry powder right here is gonna really send this acorn squash. Oh my goodness, it's gonna send it to heaven. <laughs> These are so tasty and I feel like not enough people cook with squash and you should because it has so many nutrients. It's so easy to make and everyone loves it. So now the first thing that you want to do is wash it. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Now we're going to cut this, okay? So what we want to do is we want to slice off this end and this end so we can have a good, you know, space to work where it's not rolling all over everywhere. If I feel like I go to cut down into it and I can't, I'm not strong enough, I'm gonna call my husband to slice this for me. And I think I'm gonna do that right now. I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, so now that I have both ends cut off, I have a flat surface that I can safely work with. Okay, just like so. Now what you need to do, is you need to go in and you need to slice down the middle. And once you open this up, there's gonna be seeds in the middle. Okay, so now that we have the sides, the top and the bottom cut off, we have it sliced down the middle. In the inside, you're going to see seeds. Now you can use an ice cream scoop or you can use just a spoon to get everything out, okay? There'll be a little bit of strings in there and you can just kind of scoop them out in this manner right into a paper towel, okay? Or a trash bowl, whatever you decide to use. Okay, this part right here is really simple. And if you wanted to bake the seeds or dry the seeds out so that you can bake them and eat them later, I highly suggest that you get rid of all of that you know, the orange goopy stuff off. And then you're gonna rinse the seeds until they become free of, you know, pieces of squash. And then you can bake them and they're delicious. Okay? This is what your inside should look like. Try your best to get that extra, that stringy stuff in the inside. And the spoon works very well. Just to scrape it and it comes out really quick and simple, okay? So now, this can be cooked on the stove. The same recipe that I'm gonna show you today can be done on the stove. But I highly suggest when you're making this recipe, throw it in the oven, okay? It's more simple, it's easy to do. You don't have to like slave over, you know, you don't have to slave over the hot stove. You just keep an eye on it in the oven. We're gonna cook this on 350 degrees. This 
acorn squash is what I love to have for New Year's. We love to have this for Christmas. Everyone loves it, from the adults to the kids. And I'm gonna be honest with you, you don't have to use brown sugar, honey. You don't have to use the maple syrup. This right here, it has somewhat of a sweet taste already. I just like to add a little bit more sweetness. This is a beautiful tasting squash. You better believe it is. And really, I'm gonna be honest, all you really need for this is some good old uh, olive oil, salt and pepper. Bake this in the oven and it's amazing. But if you wanna pump it up, Gina Young style, you're gonna use that curry powder, that cinnamon, and this maple syrup. Oh my goodness. Now we're taking this right here. Talk about taking it to another level. Okay, so now that we have the insides out, I'm gonna continue to take the inside out of the other two. I'm gonna show you how, just how quick and simple this can be made. Make sure you preheat your oven to 350 if you haven't done so. Now, if I were to bake this with just the savory way, which is, you know, salt and pepper, maybe a little bit of garlic powder, then I would pour olive oil or butter onto the squash, put my seasonings on, and bake it. But I don't want for my maple syrup to slide off of the flesh of the acorn squash. And that's what would happen if you were to put butter or olive oil on this right now. So what we're gonna do, only thing that I'm gonna do with that olive oil is I'm going to put the olive oil on the baking sheet just so my acorn squash doesn't stick to the pan, okay? Because that maple syrup is gonna get somewhat caramelized and you don't want your squash to stick to the pan. Okay, so that's what the olive oil will be used for. All right, like I said, because putting the olive oil, you know, if we were to base the olive oil onto the acorn squash and then think we're gonna put that maple syrup on there, it's just gonna slide right off of that oil. So make it easy on yourself. Okay, I'm gonna continue to do this one here and I'll be right back. Okay, so now what we're gonna do you're gonna take your acorn squash and you're gonna set it down in this manner and you're gonna slice. Now, you can chop this up if you'd like. You can go alongside the ridges if you like to. I'm just gonna do it this way, okay? It makes it a lot simple for me. Have to give it a little bit of assistance with my elbow grease. You need a little bit of elbow grease. Some of you say, what is elbow grease, Gina? You talk about it all the time. Well, it's just a kind of a slang word. It's an old slang word that's used for a little bit of strength. <laughs> Whenever I need some strength in my kitchen, I'll ask my husband and my boys, can I borrow your elbow grease? <laughs> and I've been saying that so long, they know exactly what I'm talking about. See that? That's how I like to slice mine. But like I said, you don't have to do yours that way. You can slice yours however you would like to have yours sliced, okay? Make sure to not cut your digits off. You're gonna need your digits so you can cook. <laughs> this right here is definitely needed for your Christmas and your New Year's dinner. You better believe it is. Your family members are going to love this dish right here. So be sure to definitely, you wanna grab more than four. I mean, I'm sorry, you wanna grab more than two because this is gonna go so quickly. You, When you make this, there's so many different flavors and different ways you can do this. Um, someone that I know, they put um, Parmesan cheese on theirs and it's amazing, it's savory and it's beautiful. Okay, see that? And what I don't want you to do, make sure you don't cut these too thin. They have to be thick sliced, okay? Just like this in this manner, all right? I'm gonna slice this last one here, and then we'll proceed with our recipe. I hope you all are having an amazing day today. 
as well as a great work week. The weekend is almost here. Is anybody doing anything special for the weekend? I love when you all tell me what you're doing for the weekend. It's so exciting to hear the different things that you all like to do for your weekend and your days off. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Put you a little teeny, teeny, tiny bit, that olive oil onto your pan. It's going to help the acorn squash not to stick to the pan once your maple syrup starts to caramelize, okay? And I find that it really helps, okay? Just like so in this manner, and you don't need too much. Just that little bit right there goes a long way, trust me, okay? I'm gonna rinse that oil off of here and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take our acorn squash and you put it on your pan however you would like, okay? Make sure you have a big enough pan. If not, you're going to have to use a couple pans to cook your squash. And I highly suggest that you find some type of nice, beautiful platter so that you can present your acorn squash in such a way. Don't just throw it on the platter, you know, and don't keep it on this here. Okay, there's that. Let's see, I can try to make room for two more. Make sure your oven is preheated to 350 degrees if you haven't already done so. Beautiful, I think that's just about all I can fit on, which is fine with me. Let's see, can I fit this one? Nope. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Now let's go ahead and season up this one side. And then later when we go in and check on it, we're going to season the other side and baste the other side with the maple syrup, just like we're going to do right now. Okay. Now we're going to put our spices on first and then we're going to baste on that beautiful real maple syrup. But when you baste on your syrup, don't brush off the spices, okay? If you think you're gonna be that person that's gonna brush the spices off, then I highly suggest putting your maple syrup on first and then put your spices on after that, okay? It's really up to your discretion, okay? I'm gonna put my curry on there. This curry, oh my goodness. It's so delicious when you pair it up with this acorn squash. And it doesn't need a lot. Trust me when I tell you this, just a little bit goes a long way. Now listen here, as far as the curry, I'm gonna only use the curry for one side. But as far as the other side, I'm gonna season the other side with all the other seasonings, okay? Except for curry, because you don't wanna get carried away with it, okay? This is one of my favorite squashes, besides Butternut squash. You all that are familiar with me, you know that I love butternut squash. I can eat it any time of the day, any time of the year. I am a true fan of butternut squash. All you really have to do is saute it up or throw it in the oven with salt and pepper, and I am satisfied. <laughs> it can become a whole meal for me by itself. That's how much I love it. Okay, so we have our curry and our cinnamon. It smells like Christmas. Let's put some cracked black pepper on just like so. We're not gonna season the other side until we turn these over, okay? Because like I said, we're gonna come back, flip these over, half of the cooking process, re-season, and rub more maple syrup on. And I don't want you all to drench this in maple syrup. Please don't do that, okay? I'm using sea salt. You all can use whatever type of salt you would like to use. And when I do it this way, I feel like I can really control how much salt I use. It only needs a little bit, okay? Those beautiful flavors are gonna come out of this squash. That little tiny bit of salt helps to bring out that beautiful flavor. Look at this, oh baby. 
you all never had this before, you better make you some because it's delicious. Oh, and it's beautiful right alongside of turkey or right alongside of prime rib or ham. Perfect for the holidays. So now here's what we're gonna do and I'm gonna be real gentle, okay? You can drizzle it if you like or just pat it lightly, just like that so you don't disturb the spices, okay? Like I said, if you wanna drizzle it, that's fine. No issues there. Okay, I'm gonna to continue to drizzle just a little tiny bit of maple syrup onto each acorn squash piece. And then we're gonna throw these in the oven and this is gonna go in the middle rack. This is never gonna go on the bottom rack, okay? It's not gonna go on the top. The middle rack is the way to go when you're roasting this acorn squash. See how I'm being really gentle and the spices are remaining onto this beautiful squash. I'm gonna to continue to do the rest and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, in the oven we go, middle rack, 350 degrees. Now, half of the cooking process, I'm going to come back, I'm gonna show you how I like to flip these, how to re-season them. We're gonna put that maple syrup back on and we're gonna throw them back into the oven. Okay, everyone, so this is what your squash will look like after a half an hour. Okay, and listen here. I told you all 350 degrees, but I really meant to say 375 degrees. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to flip them over. Remember, I said 375, okay? And I will put that in the description when I put um, the ingredients that you will need to put it on 375, since I said earlier 350. Okay, see that there? That's what we're wanting. We're gonna turn these over, and they'll cook for around about an hour on 375, okay? All depends on how you like yours done, and they're starting to get nice, beautiful, and caramelized, okay? All right, so here's what we're gonna do, and we only need to turn them once. So now what we're getting ready to do is re-season, and remember, I'm not putting curry powder on this side. That curry powder that we put on the other side was enough, okay? See that there? That one right there is beautiful. It has beautiful caramelization. Okay, let's get these turned over. We're gonna season them, and I'll be right back. Look at what I've done. I, I just couldn't help myself. That real small one that we had right here, I had to taste it, and it is so amazing. And now, the rind, you know, the green part of it, you can eat that. It's nice and tender. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. And it ain't even cooked yet. It's so good. Make you want to slap your mama. You hear me? Heck, that's so good. Make me want to smack my own self. Mm. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to season. Remember, I'm not putting curry powder on this side. This is going to go back in the oven, 375 degrees. Be careful with your salt. You don't want to intake too much salt, okay? I'm just going to put salt on just like so. Another half an hour in the oven on 375. Middle rack, as I said earlier. Okay. Let's see, I need a little tiny bit more salt for those last couple ones. And we're going to put cinnamon and black pepper. This right here, you have to put this on your dinner table for the holiday. Wow, your family members. Your holiday just doesn't have to consist of green beans and mashed potatoes. Make something different. Bring squash to the table and watch just how quick it goes. You better believe it will. The adults, the kids, everyone that's going to eat this, they're gonna love this, trust me when I tell you. Now once again, I, oh, let me put my cinnamon on just a little bit, just a little tiny bit goes a long way, trust me when I tell you this, okay? And you don't wanna cover this with foil, okay? That's very important because if you cover this with foil, it will steam and that's not what we want. We want this to get nice, beautiful, caramelized and roasted. Okay, see that there? Beautiful, and now we're gonna put that maple syrup on, or your k roll syrup, whatever you decide to use, don't push away your spices when you put your syrup on. 
in the oven for another half an hour. And when we come back, we're gonna say a beautiful prayer over this amazing acorn squash. We're gonna give it a try and I'm gonna let you all know what this tastes like. Be back. Okay, everyone, I just wanted to show you all Prince and Polo and what they're up to. You all ask for them on a daily basis. They're just kind of hanging out in here watching me cook. Now look at this beautifulness that we have going on on this beautiful <laughs> cookie sheet. Baby, listen here. Oh, let me tell you. Now, it's up to you whether you want to use the top. <coughs> You know, you want to use the top side, or do you want to use the bottom side? Let me show you what the bottom side looks like. It's going to be nice and caramelized as well. This right here is packed with flavor. They are so delicious. Take the time to put them onto your platter nice and neat. Make them look pretty, as pretty as you can. Okay, so I'm going to do just that. In this manner, if you all enjoyed this video, Give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. Tell your family and friends and everybody you know all about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Absolutely. Make this for your loved ones. They are going to be so excited. Oh, I cannot wait. Look at this. Look at the caramelization on that one. My goodness. That's those beautiful. Oh, that's the natural sweetness coming out of the acorn squash. And also that beautiful maple syrup that caramelized. Just like so. And this is how you arrange it. You know, just nice and beautiful. Don't just throw it on the platter. Ooh, make this for your grandma. Make sure to give me a thumbs up. Tell everybody you know all about Jeannie Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. And when your family members ask you, where the heck did you get this recipe from? Be sure to tell them. Gina Young, Gina Young showed me how. Look just how beautiful. If this is beautiful, type in the comment section. Gina, that right there is beautiful. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Good night. But not before we give this a try and we are gonna say a beautiful prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I wanna thank you for today and for every day. Lord Jesus, I want to thank you for your mercy, your love, time, and your understanding. Thank you for feeding us every day. Thank you, Jesus, for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace, and the joy that you bring us every day. We thank you, Lord. Amen. Let's dive in right away. Look at this. Put this. You got to cut you. For the holidays, let's grab a plate. For the holidays, you want to make at least eight of these. <laughs> All dependent on how many people you have, you know, in your household. Let's grab this one. Oh, ho, 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 baby. Oh, let's grab that one and this one. Oh, they're so beautiful. My goodness. Ooh, wait, you better make you some. You better make you some. Mm hmm Let's dive in. It's just beautiful on the plate. So easy to make. Oh, piece of cake and so delicious. This screams the holidays. Put you a nice piece of glazed ham right alongside of this. Oh, baby, and listen here. You won't be let down. Look at this. It cuts like butter. And honestly, I really didn't need, I really didn't need the knife. Taste this. You all can have the first bite. Let me know what you think about this. Maple curried acorn squash, Gina Young style. Oh, taste that. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh, 
Mm, oh, mommy. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, it's so good. Mm, mm, mm. Once again, as always, God bless you all. Good night.